Hey, hi. So, as a person who is working in an organization, you must be loaded with a lot of meetings with your internal team, with your external stakeholders, etc. So, here I am going to tell you about some of the tips, tricks, strategies to plan your calendar, to plan your meetings and time much better. So, first of the things, as a person who is leading a team or who is into senior leadership, it's really important that you dedicate your some of the time slot every week into deep work or into priority task. Okay. So, what it includes is strategic planning for your team, for your organization, and implementing that, doing the research about different things that will take or will grow your company. So when you work on this time block where you are doing deep work and research and strategic planning, you really should mute your phone, you should not check the emails and you should completely focus on the work that you're doing. And this should be a blocked time in your calendar which nobody remove and it should be ideally in the morning hours or in the late night hours so that you can focus on it very well. Second thing is that you should set non-negotiable boundaries. So suppose my meeting is set for 30 minutes, it should get over in 30 minutes or within that time duration. It should not go on and on because sometimes there are a lot of things happening and we, you know, just take the conversation from somewhere to somewhere and the length of the meeting increases a lot. So you should focus on and set very clear boundaries that you have this dedicated slot for the meeting and to be able to complete it in the time duration you should always plan the agenda the meeting. like these are the five pointers will which will be discussed then you can maybe keep a duration of maybe five minutes or something to discuss on the other ad hoc things that might come up in that week or in that month right but then in every meeting there can be certain pointers which can be fixed as an agenda of the meeting so that everybody who's coming for the meeting has read the agenda has understood it and can stick to it without getting diverted third thing is you can always delegate your work so suppose there are managers who are working under you there are team leaders there are coordinators who are working with you so there might be some of the meetings which you do not need to attend. You can just tell them to take that meeting and maybe share the minutes to you or share the outcomes to you. Because at some point of time, you really need to trust your team. And if you trust your team and if you train them well, you can delegate a lot of work, trust me. So use this and delegate some of your work to the responsible team members that you think are capable of taking that and you can free up some of your time. Next is strict no policy. So suppose uh, you're a person heading uh, an engineering team in an organization. There might be a lot of people who must be sending you meeting invites. There might be, you know, global conclaves happening. There might be internal team meetings. There might be team meetings for a particular uh, project. You might get an invite for all those, but just see, do you need to attend those? Do you need to decline those? So just see if it is really important and if this is a meeting in which you can add some value, then you should be there. Otherwise, you can conveniently decline it. Next is you should use the tools, technologies available in the market to make your time utilization much better. You can use AI tools which come on to your meeting and then record the meeting and summarize and prepare the minutes of the meetings. There are a lot of them available in the market. Just check out. They are available at a very small price per month, but that price will give you a free load of time, you know, through which you can enhance your capabilities and your output. You can use calendar management platforms like Calendly to automate your calendar. You can send a Calendly link to different people, especially if you're in sales, it's really useful for you. And then you can have a prescribed meeting slots available and then the person who is there who has to talk to you can book the meeting. It's quite convenient for both of you. And if you're in different time zones, it is really, really helpful. Now, last but not the least, 
always keep reviewing your calendar so at the end of each month or at the beginning of each month you can just review the calendar how you have planned your meetings and if you feel these are the meetings that i don't need to be involved in just uh, you know exit them these are the meetings that i need to plan you know i really want to get involved in these particular team discussions and all that just schedule them or if you want to take charge of certain teams then you can have meetings with those also so review the calendar okay so these are important things and uh, these will definitely help you thank you so much bye